Johnstown is big city medicine in a small town. The quality is excellent, the outcomes are great. It's a community program, but it's a, it's a very well structured. And so you have a very friendly uh, group of, of physicians and staff and patients, and so you really have a wonderful opportunity to train. We have residents placed all over the United States. You won't be disappointed. The commitment is just unbelievable. Welcome to Connemaw Health System's Graduate Medical Education video. I'm Amy Bradley, Director of Marketing Communications. We want to share with you portions of interviews we conducted with Connemaw's residency directors, asking them the questions we thought you might ask to help you become more familiar with our programs. Allow us to introduce our Graduate Medical Education Program Directors. Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Wozniak. I'm Medical Director of Graduate Medical Education here at Connemaw. Hi, I'm Dr. Russell Dumeyer, Director of the Surgical Residency Training Program. Hi, I'm Dr. Jean Spencer. I'm the Program Director of the Connemaw Family Medicine Residency Program in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. My name is Louis Gonzalez. I'm the Director of the PGY1 Pharmacy Residency Program. I'm Sabah Wasim. I'm the Program Director for the Internal Medicine Residency at Connemaw Memorial Medical Center. Hi, I'm Matthew Perry, Program Director of the Emergency Medicine Residency Program. These program directors each have a personal commitment to our residents and strive to help each excel. This begins by finding candidates that best fit our program. So what do our directors look for in a resident? Oh, I think a person needs to be honest, reliable, hardworking, uh, ready to learn. I think we expect somebody with an open mind, somebody who's enthusiastic about learning. Accepting challenges and excelling in um, whatever challenge is placed in front of them. Somebody that has a great work ethic that can get along and work well with other people. Somebody who's, who's dedicated to their patients and uh, really wants to uh, improve their health. We're a level one trauma center. Uh, we provide high quality care. We take care of complicating patients. Uh, we hope to prepare residents to work in any facility or any setting throughout the country after, upon graduation. And we're really interested in a resident who wants to come here, provide high quality patient-centered care to our patients and learn while they're doing it. So now that you know what Conema expects of you, what can you expect of Conema? Let's look at how our residency programs are structured. Learning at Conema is, it takes place in a variety of settings. Obviously, a lot of physician education takes place at the bedside or in the exam room with the patients. We also have a variety of didactic opportunities, classroom settings where the residents receive part of their education. We recruit six family medicine residents per year for three years, so a total of 18 residents. Uh, they participate in a variety of activities. This includes inpatient and outpatient. They uh, participate in obstetrics, uh, surgery, a little of everything. Uh, each Thursday throughout the year, the first two hours, are evidence-based articles that we review in small groups uh, with faculty present. Our third hour is a plenary lecture by one of our subspecialists throughout the hospital. Our fourth hour is our simulation lab uh, or oral board review. And our fifth hour is sort of a potpourri hour where we review interesting EKGs, interesting cases, CAT scans, chest x-rays, so on and so forth. The residency is structured inpatient and outpatient, so about two-thirds of the training is inpatient setting, and they go through the general internal medicine and all the subspecialties of medicine. So we pretty much have almost all the subspecialties of internal medicine at this institution. And then uh, for our ambulatory training, we have the residents to continuity clinic as well as to specialty offices outside the internal medicine. So that gives them a broad view of the ambulatory setting outside the general medicine practice. So we do many of the things that the other medical residents do. For example, ethics conferences that we hold, we are responsible for those. Uh, we're responsible for training physicians and educating them about pharmacology. And that's something I, I think that uh, is part of the environment and the overall uh, experience that you get when you come to Kahnema. Well, basically, um, general surgery training or residency is, is a pseudo apprenticeship type of um, situation. You expect, we expect the baseline um, of basic medical knowledge that every medical student graduating is going to have, 
Um, and basically from the beginning to the end, we're going to expect you to be present, interested, and gradually increase your level of participation, knowledge base, and comfort zone over the next five years. And the other part that we have that many community hospitals don't have is our Medical Skills Learning Center or our Sim Lab. We're one of the few accredited sim labs in the country, especially at a community-based hospital with our patient, human patient simulator. And I think that adds a real value to the education that we're able to provide to residents and other learners. I think simulation lab is, is a great asset for residents. It's better, obviously, to, to learn how to do things before you do it in actual patients, so that uh, it's a great way to reduce the amount of anxiety when you're in real life. So before I started as an intern here we had similar simulation and your anxiety level will be much less when you know that you've done it before and especially the feedback because you are doing one simulation and then you're watching three or four more. So it's much better for me at least to do it right when you do it for the real patient. They actually uh, are the best uh, methodology to, uh, for learning purpose. So uh, it, it basically helps you to execute uh, your plan, your, uh, your thoughts. And so I think that simulation is a is really good idea, especially uh, when, we are, uh, we, when we see these cases in the real time, um, implementing your thought process and uh, basically rehearsing them uh, beforehand, is, is, it helps you a lot. To learn more about our Skills Lab, click on the Resources tab of our Graduate Medical Education website. Connemaw has several distinct residencies and there are many advantages to having multiple residencies at one location. Connemaw has a selection of uh, uh, different multiple residencies and uh, we have emergency medicine, we have family medicine, we have general surgery, we have psychology internship program, we have uh, pharmacy residency, so we have a, a large selection. Our residents get a chance to interact with all the residents from other specialties. You know, that's what really I think makes us unique as well. The fact that they've included non-physician residency programs into the GME umbrella we train together as a unit. So we work together and we train physicians to work well in teams. Anytime you have more than one residency program, it's a definite benefit. I mean, patients, uh, patients nowadays are not taken care of by any one individual. It's a team approach. Um, so oftentimes the residents are interacting. For instance, from the surgery point of view, we often get patients who present through the emergency room. So we have a very close and, and very good working relationship with the um, emergency medicine residents. They rotate on our service so they know sort of what we expect in terms of the evaluation. Uh, we really think we benefit from having other residents here. It allows us to have larger conferences, so uh, we call this collaborative training. So we, you know, feel that our residents on a surgery rotation with surgery residents are able to learn more than they would if they were the only resident on that rotation. Our ICU rotation is taught by two intensivists, which we could never do if, if we were the only residents in the hospital. So we think there are definite advantages of being in a, a larger place with more residencies. The communication lines are, are excellent between residents. So it's always better to have more than one program. It's good for your professional um, growth and development as well as it's good for the institution. I think having the other residencies here really helps them learn from each other and maintain that high level for the faculty. So we have the expertise in surgery, we have the expertise in emergency medicine, we have the expertise in family medicine, internal medicine, the subspecialties. So it really elevates everybody's game, if you will, to, by having all the residents here. And it serves our patients well. Elevating everybody's game and serving our patients well, that truly makes a successful residency program. And that can only be accomplished if the residents are guided and taught by an excellent faculty that commits their time and energy to educating resident physicians and improving the programs we offer. Dr. Wozniak, is the faculty at Konama up to the task? Well, I think the best way to explain that is the fact that we just had our 100th year anniversary of graduate medical education here at Konama. So our physicians have been dedicated to graduate medical education for over 100 years. Um, and 
over 90% of our medical staff are considered teaching physicians. It is one of our core competencies. It's what we do. I think, you know, everybody says they have an open door policy, but we really do have one. You know, our, our faculty like to teach. We are, you know, frequently present in the clinic or in our offices and residents, you know, feel free to pop by and if they have a question, uh, both, you know, for career development as well as, as patient questions. Any resident that comes to Kahnemaw Memorial Medical Center for their postgraduate training uh, will benefit by the fact that every single one of our preceptors in our program, our faculty, are all board certified in their respective specialties. So not only do they gain experience across the broad range of pathology and disease states, but they also are mentored by individuals that are board certified in their respective subspecialties. The biggest uh, thing that we get is personal satisfaction of knowing that we're giving back to what we truly love. Being a surgeon in my mind is not, it's not a job, it's a profession and it's a calling. It's something that you know that you want to do, you don't know exactly why you want to do it, but you're willing to do anything to get to that level to, to be a surgeon. And to know that you're helping the next generation of people do what you needed help to do to achieve your own hopes and dreams, that's the self-satisfaction that we all get from this. So the nurses, the ancillary staff, the physician, everybody knows that we're a teaching hospital. Everybody's dedicated to teaching, and it really does elevate that and make it one of our core competencies. A residency can be a stressful time. A lot of vital information has to be passed on and absorbed for the resident to become an effective physician. So it's important that the relationships among the residents and between residents and faculty don't add to that stress. The camaraderie at Kanama is exceptional. From clinical environments to curriculum settings to fun outside of the hospital, our residents and faculty create close friendships. Well, you know, Johnstown is known as the friendly city, and we at Kanama are friendly. Um, so we like to get to know our residents, and we like to get interactions between the residents and the faculty, the residents and the, the other employees. I think they're integrated into the community. Yeah, we have a, a nice size residency where uh, the residents know one another. They know one another's families. Uh, they know the faculty very well. So it is a tight-knit group. Um, one of the mo things I'm most proud of in our uh, program is the camaraderie. Our uh, group is a very multi-ethnic group. You know, we have, in addition to our U.S. grads, we have at times about 11 different nationalities in our program. So, you know, it's a rich cultural program. I think everybody brings a very good flavor from their, uh, from their uh, country of origin. Um, and they, they mesh very well. It's a, it's a very um, nice community and nice place to work. And I think it's a tremendously beneficial collaboration that you see where they develop lifelong friends uh, that are not just pharmacists, but they could be physicians, they could be psychology interns. Uh, it's really kind of cool to see that the grow and develop, and then uh, after they leave, they maintain contact with, with these individuals. We hope our video is giving you a good look at what a residency at Kahnemaw can offer. But there's more to life than just what happens within these walls. Johnstown is a welcoming community that provides hospitality to our residents and their families. You know, it, it's, Kahnemaw is a fantastic place to be educated because you have the whole package. You not only have an environment that's very conducive to graduate medical education, but you also have the Four Seasons, you have a lot of opportunities to do things outside of the hospital, and most importantly, you don't have a commute. So you have extra time to do it, and when you add all that up, it really translates into a wonderful experience. We do feel very welcome here. We've been here for four years now and uh, have felt welcome from day one. I had a great experience here. I, when, during my interview, I got along with everyone. It was very warm and very welcoming, very inviting. Um, everyone's so nice here, which is great. Yeah. Well, you know, when I interviewed here, I just really liked, uh, I liked everything about Johnstown and the residency itself. It's a regional level one trauma center. And so as uh, surgical residents, you know, we get exposed to a lot of different traumas. I feel like all the residents are really impressive and I want to be like them. So that's why I picked. Yeah, that's why I wanted to go to Kanwa. Quality of life is good. Oh, I feel like it's good. Raising our kids here, it's been very happy, very, and it's a place you can feel comfortable. 
um, with the kids and they have a lot of activities for families. It's a great family place to be. And if you go to a bigger program, uh, you may just be able to like fade into the background. But here, you know, you get personalized teaching. You know, everyone's available and everyone uh, notices you and gives you uh, the teaching experience that you deserve instead of just being another number in the residency. And uh, get the training here and be able to work anywhere in the country and be able to be a great physician. Come and visit. Great advice. Kahnema just might be the best place for you to complete your residency. A residency that prepares our graduates to explore their interests and pursue their passions as physicians. Our, our residents really have been able to choose wherever in the country they want to, to practice. So I think the training that they get here prepares them from any kind of careers they want to pursue. We have an amazing success rate in terms of placement of um, or graduating residents into fellowships. Um, our board passage rate is second to none, uh, just about 100% for the last 10 years. And I've been here long enough that I know graduates of our program that are spread throughout the United States and also internationally. And the feedback we get is they're successful. So we have had residents go into fellowships, we've had residents go into primary care, we have had some residents who, who chose to pursue academic careers, and we have residents going to hospitalists. So whichever career they've chosen, you know, they felt very well prepared for it. And our Kahnemaw name is becoming well known throughout the United States because of, uh, I think, the type of education and the work ethic that these individuals bring. And the biggest measure of our success is over the years, a large number of people that we have trained, gone out to major institu institutions for cardiothoracic, vascular surgery, general surgery, minimally invasive, they've come back here to be faculty here. That's the true measure of your success when people go away and realize that this is a great place to be and come back um, to work and live here with their families. Choosing a location for your residency is an important decision. We hope that this glimpse into our graduate medical education program is helpful in showing you some of what you'll experience while a resident at Kahnema. We welcome you to visit, see our facilities, meet our faculty and staff, speak with current residents, and tour this beautiful area. We think you'll love it as much as we do. If you want to come to a program that gives you a wide range of opportunities, uh, being educated in a very collaborative work environment with other healthcare professionals, including physicians, and is a great place to live, work, and play, come to Kahnemaw Memorial Medical Center for your postgraduate training. I think uh, Johnstown and Kahnemaw is a, a small town, but it has a tertiary care hospital, and so you have a very friendly uh, group of, of physicians and staff and patients, and so you really have a wonderful opportunity to train. You won't be disappointed. Uh, you'll find a, a top-notch residency program that I would uh, say can compete with any residency in the country. When I ask people who have graduated, you know, what was the best thing about Kahnema that you feel after you've been here and you're working some other places, and they, they would tell me, um, you know, the best thing was the best training they got in addition to the great work environment. It was never uh, seemed like a work to come here. Well, I think what the residents come here for is good education to start out with. They want to be good physicians, and I think we at Kahnema want them to be good physicians and provide them with the necessary education and skills that when they graduate from here, they are able to go out and be good physicians in a variety of settings, whether that be urban, suburban, or rural, whether that be a large hospital, a small hospital, whether that be an inpatient practice or an outpatient practice. We have to train physicians for a variety of things after they graduate, and I think we're successful at that.